Another spin around the sun, and it's that time again for the North American Bathhouse Association Conference. This important organization made up of owners, enthusiasts, vendors, and folks like myself meet every year to discuss the current state of popular trends, important health and safety issues, and the evolution of the clubs. And this year we all descended on the Big Easy New Orleans, Louisiana to enjoy the gumbo, live jazz, and maybe buy a voodoo doll or two. Unfortunately, the New Orleans bathhouse closed some years ago, which kind of made the choice of location even more important. It's as if we were saying, hey, you can't get rid of us that easily. Most of the same bars I remember from 20 years ago were still there, including the corner pocket, where I may or may not have been tipping a cute thing from Texas. But that's a different story for a different time. Let's get on with the conference. Most of us hadn't seen each other in a whole year, so it was nice to start with a little cocktail event to regroup. There were familiar faces, some new faces, and what's this? An open bar? <laughs> yes, please! The next day was the first day of the event and Chris Peterson of Steamworks Seattle, the board president of the North American Bathhouse Association, welcomed us all to this year's event. Now, if you missed my conversation with Chris over on Queerly Us, my podcast, you can check that out uh, right here. Next up was Tony Ossentoski, who is the treasurer of NABA. So obviously he was talking about financial outlook for the next year. And then it was my turn, which I was so happy to be asked to come back this year. Last year, if you remember, I sat on a marketing panel and I was on that panel with Mr. Pam and Andrew Nolan of Squirt. If you didn't see that video, you can check that out right here. This year, I was welcomed back as a solo person. So I got my whole presentation to myself this time talking about social media and YouTube. And if you watch my channel, then you know that bathhouses are a very important part of my channel. I was really honored to have been asked to come back this year to have my own stage all to myself. And hey, if you're liking this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss a thing. And if you're a fan, why not consider becoming a member of the channel by finding the join button on the right hand side of the main channel page. Thank you so much for your support. Now aside from my own discussion, my next favorite part maybe was the round table discussions because this was a time for us to like break out into little groups and talk about different things like the different events that bathhouses hold and gender issues, which was actually my favorite discussion because I feel this is such an important talk for us to be having. After a long day <laughs> of bathhouse presentations, we deserved a good dinner, which is what we got, and a show with New Orleans premier drag Muppet, Eureka Starfish. I'm gonna put her links down in the description so you can follow Eureka. So the next day we had presenters from Communion and Bear Union, Kyle Tucker and Gary Brewer. Haven't heard of it, you don't already know, Communion is an international sex party. It hosts close to 50 monthly parties in 40 cities and in three countries. So if you haven't heard of it, are you living under a rock? Their parties are always a great vibe. And the parties are held in like bathhouses and sex clubs and gay hotels and resorts. Bear Union, which is much the same thing, is the newest party from Come Union, are body positive and they welcome all of those who love bears, big men, and daddies. Themes and events were popular topics at the conference. If you have not seen my video on the Steamworks theme nights here in Toronto starring Wyndham Gold, who is very easy on the eyes and worth a watch. You can see that video uh, right here. And let me know in the comments, how do you think bathhouses could improve the user experience? One of the most important topics covered at a bathhouse conference, of course, has to be health outreach. Obviously, sexual health, sexual well being is going to be an important topic. If you haven't seen my discussion with Aaron Clark, who's a sex educator. You can watch that here. He was on my podcast, Queerly Us, and we talk about HIV, we talk about doxypep, uh, PrEP, uh, injectable HIV treatments. So all of the tools that you can put in your toolkit to protect yourself and others when you're playing in bathhouses and other locations. Andrew Nolan hit the scene. Now this guy is a presenter. He 
can project. I don't know if he has a theater background or not. I'm gonna ask him <laughs> next time I see him. He's obviously from Squirt. I talk about Squirt on my channel all the time as one of the best ways for you to cruise and find cruising locations. So he was sharing the feedback from the Squirt users. If you don't use Squirt, I don't know what you're waiting for. Squirt.org, just go, <laughs> just get it. And keeping in the same vein, Sniffies was up next. I talk about Sniffies all the time on my channel. Again, this is the perfect platform to find those cruising locations wherever you are. Sniffies is geolocated. It's a map. It shows you exactly on the map where the guys are, where the cruising spots are. If you have not seen my full video on Sniffies. You can check that out right here. I go through the entire website and I show you exactly how to use it. So if you haven't heard of Sniffies, you're clearly new to my channel, so welcome. If you're not on Sniffies, what are you doing? Now this was a very international event. Even Italy was represented. Keeping it in Europe, we had Sana and Zed represented there by Harold and Alberto, who were two guys that are extremely difficult to look at. I mean, I don't know why they couldn't send better looking guides. Um, when I was in Amsterdam, I saw lots of good looking people, so I don't know why they would send Harold and Alberto, but I digress. What they were talking about was, so Alberto works at the, they both work at Sauna and Zed, but Harold specifically in the position of a masseuse. So they offer massages at Sauna and Zed and talking about what the benefits of are by having masseurs, massagers, masseuses, massagers, masseuses, sewers. Talking about the benefits of having somebody there to give their clients massages and how that's a draw for people. Actually, let me know in the comments. Would that be a draw for you? If a sauna was offering massages, do you think that that would be a draw for other people and also for yourself? Let me know. If you have not seen my sauna review of Sauna NZ from Amsterdam, you can find that video out right here. And then we wrapped up the whole thing by having the vendors come and talk about their products. You know, anything, dildos, cock rings, everything you can, glue, poppers, everything that you would need to sell in your bathhouse for the convenience of your clientele. These are my folks, these are my people, and if you are still watching this video, then you are one of us and you love it too. And that means I love you. I have such a great time with these guys. They're such a good group of people professional, lovely, friendly business people uh, interested in giving the user the best experience that they can. Fully appreciate everybody that participates at the NABA conference. I hope that every year it grows with more people participating and I cannot wait for next year's conference. My channel is made possible through the support of my patrons. Patrons of my channel get advanced access to episodes, behind the scenes content, and monthly video chats with moi. And for a deeper dive, why not sign up for my newsletter? It's absolutely free and full of discounts on fun stuff for you to enjoy. For all the ways that you can support, including my OnlyFans page, check out my website patrickmorano.com found in the description below. And I will see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.